I agree exactly what's been said today, and I can tell you from the Ways and Means perspective, from the tax perspective, uh, the President isn't keeping that promise. We saw that right off the bat. The second bill he signed was an increase on a lot of uh, low-income, middle-class families to the Children's Insurance Program. And the budget that was rushed through Congress today with, I will bet, that not one member who voted for it actually read this a multi-trillion dollar budget. Again, this first 100 days has been rushed to bad legislation. It includes a, a tax increases of one and a half trillion dollars, the highest in American history. As the gentleman from Louisiana and Texas and View pointed out, in addition to the national energy tax, you're looking at increased taxes on professionals and small business people, increased taxes on the independent small energy companies, the one that, ones that drill 90% uh, of all the wells here in America. So we're going to uh, outsource our American energy jobs, the climate change at national energy tax, increased taxes on capital gains and dividends, a source of a lot of revenue for our seniors in America and a source of uh, capital, uh, new taxes on real estate partnerships, on U.S. companies headquartered here who are trying to sell their products around the world, we're actually going to penalize them for selling uh, American-made products around the world. It is crazy the number of tax increases. And I can tell you, with but all the spending... Me, how do you explain, yeah. just reclaim my time, how do you explain this promise in the context of what you're saying? I yield. The promise was, under my plan, no family making less than $250,000 a year will see any form of tax increase. That promise has already been broken. And the budget we passed today ensures that it will be broken even further. And it guarantees. What everyone knows is with the spending, there's no free money. Someone's going to have to pay for this record deficit. It's going to be middle class families. It's going to be small business people. It's going to be people that make a whole lot less. And a good example, look at the stimulus bill. It started phasing out all these benefits if you make $80,000 a year. That's what it started to do, including the making a work pay tax credit, that measly $1.10 in your paycheck. They start phasing it out at $80,000. That's what this White House believes is wealthy. We've already seen the model. Uh, 